traveling in a uh, group, so I'm gonna leave it up to you to figure out why and how. Man, I forgot I got my lighting in and did not fuck with it at all. Well, I guess I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing after this session. Ha ha. Uh -huh. And it is all prepared. It does not count against me. That does not count against me. <laughs> And I will be right back. I'm just gonna run downstairs real quick while everyone's getting in the game. Yeah, let, let me just toss this stuff in. Let me just toss this stuff in. This is the This awful heat just broke with this terrible thunderstorm. Oh, uh, but, but I'm sorry to hear about that see the brain. And there we go. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, this is about to be a drunk drunk drink moment. I forgot that that is a- I forgot that this class- uh, this some archetype does that. Oops! Somebody forgot something! Yeah, in this case is about to be a lot of stupidity things. And then I get proficiency of my joys. Uh. Send help to the sanity department. Hey, Michael. What's up? Guess how much I get as a plus, as an add thing to my stealth and my sleight of hand. Let's see here, level 7 Tabaxi Rogue, I'm going to assume you're getting at least a plus 12. Now it's a plus 10. Ah. Well, now I feel bad. And I, and I just, I, I'm looking, I was looking forward to watching this. And I was looking for you to watching this, this going down. My, my sleight of hand? No, uh, yeah. your dexterity, what is it? My dex is 18. Oh. Yeah, I didn't roll anything, that didn't roll any higher. I think my highest was a 16. And the highest for me was a 15, I think. Girl, no murdering you, Michael. <laughs> Might not be murdering you at this point, girl. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It would be of me murdering her, it would be of me letting her die. I was joking, you know this, right? <laughs> I was joking, and I really am not in the really in that mindset of doing that to someone. <laughs> and plus, why the heck would I go about murdering him? I don't get off on that. <laughs> characters that like to murder people? And like some people. Teehee. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's a teehee like, yep, this is about to be great. No boo, no, no boo. Baby boy, I love you so much. I need you to not be a little shithead today. Um, there we go. Oh, why are you so stressed out, baby? Why are you so stressed out? I think Boo is scared of the thunderstorm, you guys. I'm so sorry, you. And one. Okay. And it's a 1d6. What was I doing with the name? And... You know what, let me check if this doesn't...
Let me make sure I got this right, cause it sucks if I didn't do this right. Um... Sneak attack actually is a thing. I haven't played a non spellcaster, so this is going to be weird. <laughs> um, done this before with a monk ranger. Monk ranger. I was thinking of making her a ranger. Um, and then there was, let's see, not just the monk ranger, but, um, there's also, let me just make sure I get it right. She's, like I said, how many levels is she into it? Three. Three, so it's a 2d6. 2d6, okay. As for her, because I did do a monk before and it was a, um. Sneak attack and music. Son, um, I already did things. Can't cunning action. Oh, forgot about cunning action. And I'm back. Well, I'm back. Sorry, that took yeah. longer than I expected. My dog decided that he is a living creature and needs attention and care. This one, uh, you guys still take my sweet time because I forgot about like the rogues have a cutting action. I was gonna say a lot of your stuff uh, was there and then some of it was not quite there. Yeah, see. Like you covered yeah. a lot of the main things, but rogues have a lot of little things. Yep. Like I said, they're very like, all right, and then this, and then this little thing, and then also this I forgot about. Yep. And also it was the moon of the 12th, so you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, what's happening? That's um, that is how I feel about rogues in this version, though. And then there's me. That's about to be a pain in the behind a little bit. I'm joking. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, not really. uh, All right. Okay, and that is the only thing uh, I need to check is if everyone got images up. I need to get you mine. My bad. My bad. I sent you mine. Cool. Is it in messages or general? General. Cool. General. Very nice. Then... Good picture. I'm a tabaxi rogue. I don't then... smoke that wacky tabacky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> don't wriggle free. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. And let me make sure I got it right. Yep, don't I wiggle away. Accept your fate. Don't wiggle away. I love you. No. No, I love you. 
And then let me go to Pinterest. <laughs> That's when you say you will love me. <laughs> well, you know, cats just need to like lie there until it accepts its fate <laughs> to be in the arms. <laughs> Yes, that's not, uh, that's not at all worrying. Call the police. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Call uh, Peter. For that thing that I talked to you about, did you meet the same material plane as the material world? I mean, yeah, it, it's, it should be that. They probably just worded it wrong. Okay. Um, let me just find, give you the picture. Let me pick any picture. Speaking of, now that Ashley is here, I can give her... I don't know if she wants to use it or not. That's up to her. And another thing, do I know how to use it? Uh, I feel like that's a roll. I mean, what it's technically a... I think the one I gave you was a power word, wasn't it? Yes. Which I shouldn't have said, but it's fine. I no. don't know what it means, so that's okay. That's kind of what I figured. I so, kind of do, but at the same time, I don't want to know which power word it is. Since what you that, I, I, know how to use it. I mean, yeah, I, just, then, I assume so. Although, then, I always feel like... I'm not going to point it out, though. But then I have a quick question. Wait a minute, what was the amount that we were supposed to get for... Let me see, where's that? 500. Um, uh, cause I'm not sure where is is the um amount that I'm supposed to roll. Don't worry, is it just 500? Yeah. It's so 500 ahead. plus uh 1d10 times 25. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, where would I find that if I may ask? Let's uh, see. You guys what? I believe. Oh, I no, I've always checked. I had to check that one a couple times. Mm -hmm. She doesn't trust you. Uh... Be like me and roll a one. <laughs> I'll cry if I do. I'm like, shit, what did I do? Dungeon Master's Guide, character level first through fourth, low magic campaign, standard campaign, high magic campaign. So that's the other thing is it's not just gold. You also get usually common or uncommon magical items. Let me double check the exact page in the DMG. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was in the DMG. I should have double checked it. Starting. I was going to say the only magical item I have is my weapon, and that's very for a magical weapon. Okay, I think I found it. I think I found it. it. Um. Okay, there it is. I found it. For a low magic, high magic, a yeah. Standard, or... Yeah, you see the table. Yeah, okay, I found it. I found it. It was on chapter one. So, <laughs> currently, uh, we're going to be in a high magic campaign. Okay. So you're going to want to do that 500 G plea plus 1d10 plus and then one uncommon magic item and normal starting equipment. So that is your uh, uh, stuff. Oh, okay. I get a common equipment? Magic item, yes. But yeah. I mean, it's the thing. I will... I, I, I mean, I kind of feel like I want you to. I don't think you get it, uh, one of your choice. It just says you get one. Having so said it that, like that, they have to roll for it. I think so. Let me just, um, I really wish I remembered what page this was on. It's probably on treasure, maybe. Oh gosh, this is it's probably feel treasure. Good. Oh boy, this is about to be a worrying moment. Uh, we can go right in along at the same time. Can we trade if we want it? <laughs> okay, so I don't like this shit. I mean, I'm worried. Shoot, weren't you a little worried? No. Just give me a deck of many things and we'll figure it out. No, absolutely not. No deck of many things. Haha, <laughs> alright, here we go. Wait. Oh, nope, never mind. I thought it told me the page. Mm. Fuck. What page is it in? Knowing my luck, you're gonna draw from the deck of many 
fucking things, and it's gonna fucking take your soul away and put it in some fucking jewel somewhere. Haha, <laughs> 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 all right, there we go. Page 38. coming, dude. You should have wrote yourself a good story of. You should have seen that coming. You knew the joke was gonna write itself, right? <laughs> This is when, uh, this is when that, this is when Ashley knew she fucked up because now Michael's not going to heal her. <laughs> oh, man. So, so <laughs> I you guys are looking at him playing a true neutral character. Now, the question is if he can play it true neutral. Probably not. <laughs> nobody, yeah. nobody ever plays true neutral. Don't okay. worry, I made it so that I can't actually fuck up. I don't- Because I can actually- I can- no, I can actually follow his trait that I put on him. I mean, the traits are with me, but once again, no one ever follows true neutral. It's boring. It's easy to follow true neutral, though. It's- I mean, it would be a really short game for you if you go true neutral. <laughs> <laughs> so the only example in all of media that I can think of that is true neutral are the Neutronians from Futurama. Or the neutral, whatever, yeah. Okay, and there we go, I got the amount, and then... Those are true neutral people, it's just like, what do you think, sir? Here we go. There, there's, the, there's the link. And... Hopefully. It's a meme, but it deserves to go in general for this, the purposes of this talk. Okay, and then one uncommon I which I'm praying. I also want to, oh, yeah. I want to remind you that he says that after they say that there's like a missile launching at the ship. I'm chaotic, dude. Like and then this character, if I remember correctly, this character. I didn't give her an alignment. Fuck! <laughs> oh, that is getting great. I didn't give her an alignment. Keep it going. Hmm. 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 Alright, well, we're gonna go with a random. Okay. I'm great, that's great. I'm not freaking answering that. There we go. Mm. How do I make these tiny? I don't know what these are, but... Of roll 20. Oh, uh, it's in your settings. So on the little bar or whatever, it says under chat avatars, it'll say player video avatar size. And you want to go to okay. names only. All right, how many do we have here? This is roughly, let's see, probably like 100? I feel like that's a hundred. You know what? We're gonna say that's roughly a hundred. Why is it clear? Loading. Oh, it's just dark. You guys don't know where you're at. No, 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 she's talking about uh, Claire's name. Oh, I don't know. You might have to refresh that. I broke it, you guys. Yeah, you did. How dare you? And then let's see. Well, I don't even have an idea. Okay. Or not. Hmm. That's weird. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Can my nails be painted gold? Uh, sure. I mean, that's up to you. All right, so for the random magic item, we're going to be doing a D100 roll. Oh. Oh, I, I will also allow... Mm, it, you can have a common magic item of your choice if you would like to choose one instead of getting random. No, no, no. Oh, instead. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. All right, the dice gods look. Dice. All right, let's see. Boop. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pass on that, considering it's my weapon. All right, this does not go poorly for me. Do I even want to know what your weapon is this time? Is it the one I think it is? No, it's just a plus two. Ah, I mean, that's fine. Considering you said an uncommon and a common, and technically a plus two is a rare. Yeah, I mean, it is. I got a 32. Or 38. Why the f- What the f- Sorry, double checking this to make sure it's in here or if it's a side item and why it's showing up on my list. Alright, I'm gonna get- uh, I'm gonna give you two options. You can either have- Oh wait, no, they're both in the DMG. Never mind. It, sometimes it messes with me pretty heavily by not showing the page number. There we go, okay. So this is what you got. You have an alchemy jug. Me? Yep, whoever rolled 38. Oh, that's me. Okay, then you have an alchemy jug. Alchemy jug, what does it do? So the alchemy jug is a ceramic jug that appears to be able to hold a gallon of liquid and weighs 12 pounds, whether full or empty. Sloshing sounds can be heard from within the jug when it is shaken, even if it's empty. One can use an action and name one liquid from the table below to cause the jug to produce the chosen liquid. Afterward, you can uncork the jug as an action and pour the liquid out, up to two gallons per minute. The max amount of liquid the jug can produce depends on the liquid you named. Once the jug starts producing liquid, it can't produce a different one or more of one that has reached its maximum until the next dawn. Hmm. Can I... Can I get a the picture of the table yeah i'm gonna give you the i'm gonna give you the um, actual quote I stuff get, i mean i can give it to her too because i think i have it so wait you want a picture or you wanted the description both okay yes. so here i'll message you the description where the f is discord there we go thank you bud and uh, does she need the list items, a list of it? Or no? Yeah. Oh, I think, I think, wait. No, I think I got the liquid. Mm, if not, I can just make sure. Mayonnaise? Yeah, that is a legitimate. Oh, gosh, yep. Yeah, it's in the list. Yep. Yeah, two freaking gallons of the crap. And here is a picture of the actual jug. Okay, salt is not a liquid. Uh, I believe okay. that's I believe that's salt water, water comma salt. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Honey. And uh, and well, above well, it you have water comma fresh. That's just the I way they it. list them sometimes badly. <laughs> I won't blame you, that's definitely on them. Oh boy, I'm sweating nervously at what 82. <clears throat> 82, let's see. Four, eight, three, eighty-two. Oh. Ha 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 Oh wait, I'm... is this what I think it is? Let's double check. Hey, welcome back, whoever. PC. Yeah, that was me. 
Yeah. Julie, I think there's an echo on your end. Is there? Might be on me. I mean, Joel's the only one who's not echoing. Huh. Yeah, I see I see an echo. Sorry. Yeah. Let me see if I can do something about that. We're actually gonna go past that one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I'm mildly concerned with what AD2 is. No, actually, I have to find uh, interesting so, and creative ways to use my jug. It will be fun. Uh, you have the instrument of the bards, Mac Firm de Sittern. I can't even freaking use it. I don't even think you can. That's a big oof. Yeah, I kind of figured. But it'll probably sell for a pretty good price. Reroll! You can try for a reroll. I will require one character defect. Oh, I'm with the ways I'm imaginative. Yeah, these, these ones I'm getting from a random defect generator, not from the regular defect generator. Um. I mean. I like using the jug in new and interesting ways if I'm unimaginative. I mean, not. I mean, I like I said, the only pro <laughs> the problem is even if I was to take it, because keep in mind it is something, it was it's an instrument. The problem is it can only be an attunement by a bard. Yep. Like I said, it is not a good item for you. I would take the I would take the thing. <laughs> Where is Donja? There we go. No, this isn't the one I needed either. Where is I mean, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not complaining. Next thing you know, she, she takes the re-roll, gets a defect, rolls the same fucking E2. You could. <laughs> I will freaking cry on the inside. I will laugh on the outside. I think all three of us would laugh. Yeah, no, I would think, I think some part of me would laugh my ass too. That is just me. At least. <laughs> uh, okay, can I pick? Can I pick from the common item, please? Can I pick from the common item right now? That is yeah. About yeah, that. I'll I'll, t I'll let you have that one. That's the other reason I have that one in there. Where it's just like, did you unlock out? That would happen in a real adventure. You might get a bad item and have to go sell it and get a slightly less good item. I mean, I wouldn't care, but it's just that I can't use it. I can't attune to it. Yeah, that's not a good idea to be having it. Nope. Never know, it could sell for a decent amount of money and the, the shop might have something decent. Having said that, you can get any uh, common item. And, uh, one second, I'm gonna double check the list of common items, but I believe I wanna add a modifier to one. So if it's any type of wand or weapon or whatever, I'll give it a plus one to its cast or its attack and etc. In addition to whatever it gets. There's actually some pretty interesting ones on the list, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if you uh, look on Xanther's Guide. Yeah, no, that is very much nice. Xanther's Guide does have a lot of nice stuff on it. Indeed. You know what? Which I'm glad I got that for D&D Beyond. It was worth the 30 bucks. You know what? You know very much about what uh, what I might do. Dance. Uh huh. Get down. Dance, dance, Get revolution. Dance. No, but it, seriously, what what did you want to do? I probably will get the pipe of uh, smoking monster. Ah yes, I, I actually saw that like just a second ago. While I was going through. Yeah, because I was like, that sounds kind of okay. For the most part, it's safer than you get. Um, it works. I mean, it would be either going to do that or the Revelin double bladed um, scimitar. But... Or. I can't think of anything else. I mean. I mean.
You can always get a talking doll and just freak people out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We're not doing this. Enchanted. We're not doing this again. We're not doing this. Super nice. <laughs> I think I think I actually done for the day. Done. And and I absolutely love how there's only because Ashley's a rogue, and from what I understand, Jules a rogue. Um, well, people ask me to do it. And then there's me, who the only people who know my class is me and Axel. Hashtag classism. His class is garbage. Just kidding. What's your class? I mean, that's that's something you'll have to find out. It's true. It's it's not something that my character would exactly talk about. My character actually wouldn't talk about a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah, you guys still have to figure out how your adventuring band came together at level seven. We're all best friends. <laughs> we, we grew, no, we grew no. up together, which would directly that, go against someone's backstory. That <laughs> that would not work for my character. Let me first get this thing in. Let me get the pipe in. We were all childhood sweethearts with each other, and now we're in a polyamorous relationship. <laughs> um, See how would how would that work with somebody who has been exiled for years upon years upon years? I mean, exile is from a place, not from everybody. Yeah, we left with you. Uh, I don't think that strong. Now, if you were in seclusion, that's different. Yeah, and then and but that's up to you guys. I mean, I'm I don't know what to tell you guys there. <laughs> I, per currently, I just need to get Jules' character in, and then we're pretty much good to go, yo. Now, I'm a huge thief, so there's a large chance I was in jail at one point. So if you wanted to break me out of jail, that's fine. I mean, my thing is... Hmm, actually, you know, that wouldn't be a bad place for all of you to have met up. <laughs> I mean... The character I'm playing probably, probably came to town to study. Study. All right. So this is the only thing that I'm going to send in. Uh, where, where do I want? You know what? I'll send it in subplot. I'll send it to hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I'm going to give you about my character. Mm. This picture of his dick. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> I have more class than that, Axel. But does your one. character? <laughs> <laughs> um, I it's impossible. He sent a picture of Charlie Sheen. <laughs> and then here, can, well, here for the most part, my character. Hmm. And then for the most part, this is what I have. Just, um... Yeah, how are we gonna pull the hermit into a game? <laughs> And for the most part, mine's is this. By the way, Axel, I don't have control over my icon. Like, yeah, I, I still gotta, I gotta assign them to your character still. Ah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Said everything comes with time. That's why I was hoping you guys would talk your shit out. Yeah. But if I gotta yeah. figure it out, I will. Okay, I mean, I know for a fact the character I'm playing would probably have traveled, so eventually, you know, I'm gonna boss these guys. Oh. And I mean... Back. Sorry? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Line, point of perspective. Maybe. Yeah, and... I mean... Go ahead, dear. Yeah, and ideally, that's what the ideally is. Uh, Alright. So now... Oh no, there's more I, I do have another language, but that's one I'm keeping separate from all of you. Yeah, no, I have other languages too, but you know, I'm not gonna do it. That was just... It caught, got caught. No way we can just get it Yeah, because as a, as a uh, thief, you get thieves can. Yeah, but I got 
have two other languages too. God damn it, I still can't control my character. Get rid of that, Axel. Alright, pull it from your thing, god damn it. That's the whole point of me putting it on there. That's, that's the thing, is like, I can pull your characters on, but it's when you pull them on, you can control them right away. Okay, got it. I got mine. Did you find me? Boop. Which is the real me? That's when I actually goes and deletes them both. <laughs> I mean, I've done that before. I was like this close. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> funny. It's like, what happened to me? <laughs> I died! <laughs> I also realized I have a very odd number of hit points. If it's not point six five eight, I don't think it's that bad. I'm a liar. I have an even number of hit points. I have fifty nine. I. Night. Uh, you were, you know, right if right there right. was one digit different, there it would be a really good number. <laughs> I mean, technically, I do have an ability that can pump me up to sixty nine health. Nice. It can pump you up to 69. <laughs> you ring yourself into a corner. There's, there's only one issue with that, though. It is a fourth level spell. And you need a second person? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that one took you a minute. <sighs> you walked yourself into that, and you should have seen that coming, ladies and gents. Ha ha! That's a pun too. Should have seen it coming. Da dum. <laughs> <laughs> Low effort comedy to the max. But uh, no, it's a fourth level spell, and I only have one fourth level spell slot. And for the most part, the party just thinks she's a very odd, um, small orc, half orc. You think I'm a tabaxi? A black one. Racist. Uh, I'm I mean, technically no, supposed no. to be a green dragonborn. Ooh. Ah. All right. But hey, I hey. couldn't find a picture of a green dragonborn wearing hide armor. Ooh. So I settled with a black colored wearing hide armor. Yeah, Fa fashion dictates that you should have changed armors. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. I, I was gonna say, I don't think someone who's been isolated for many, many years should be wearing something other than hide armor. This depends. No. It's gonna be really rusty chain. Uh, like I said, well, my character. I, I feel that wouldn't serve protection, sir. Like the protection that it's supposed to, if it's rusted. Uh, of course, it would it'd just be like really, really dirty and heavier. It deals one d four rust damage to whatever hits you. With a melee attack. Yeah. Like, he, it hits the armor, and like rust flakes come off and get in their eyes. I have now exactly. made the armor, the rust armor. It's also immune to rust monsters. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, it's that's actually pretty cool if, to make something that's immune to a rust monster right that's specifically all it does <laughs> it doesn't save my weapon any but you know I mean you may find the epic legendary rust sword sword hey look sword. don't mock the boat sword <laughs> not in this campaign boat sword fucking pacific rim got that movie Boat sword. That's all you need to know about it. I have. All you need to know is boat sword. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, but like I said. I'm a cat. Do I like water? Do you know, I roll think. D100. Yep, do it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna roll to see if the water recognizes me. God damn it, no! Rolled a hundred. Water is your long lost father. <laughs> I swear to God, we're doing this with it. I, 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 no, I'm just giving you shit. Um, I know. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, this is where I need the. Oh no, it doesn't have any bookmarks. They didn't organize it. 
machen. You know, now that I'm reading like both of your descriptions, I swear to God, we had to have met. The only way we would have met each other is in the same cell in a prison. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, how the hell were you in? I was out hunting boar. Here's the thing: how would it, how would someone who's been isolated for God knows how many years ended up in prison? That's really easy. That happens all the time. Yeah, I mean. You would have left the weird hermit like No, there's, there's literally a story about that. It is because to remain in isolation, you almost always end up having to either, like, tread into other territories or do things and, like, encroach on other people's territories. Okay, but... Because so true self-isolation is impossible. Okay, but now it brings me to the question of how would uh, my character get in a, in a jail cell? Illegal research. Illegal <laughs> Bullshit. I have another one if you guys can't think of anything else. And it works for everybody. Oh god. Let's hear it. Alright, I only need one one thing from this list over here. Do it, motherfuckers, do it! Do it now! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it now! Do it! Your team! Do it! Hands up! Don't shoot! Uh, okay, no, but seriously, I do have... <laughs> it's like, do it now! <laughs> Need making my characters all get along for the campaign setting. Uh... But uh, no, I do actually have one. So uh, basically for the last uh, three days or so, Jesus, we've already been streaming an hour. <laughs> and we haven't done anything D&D related, really. I mean, we've been doing some stuff, kind of. But uh, yeah, uh, for the last, actually not three days, three weeks or so, there has been a ridiculously like crazy storm brewing in the vast general area. And I'm talking like trees ripped from roots, mountains starting to have avalanches and rock slides and mudslides, you know, this, like serious weather shit. And uh, with the only exception currently being a place called the Changing Isles, which you've heard about one way or another uh, individually. Uh, some through word of mouth, some through divine inspiration and research, and others through uh, plain old common sense following the eye of the storm. And so, at this point, you uh, have gone to the nearest uh, port town in search of a boat in order to find this island and, you know, either A, for some get to safety, or B, for others, uh, you know, investigating the reason why it doesn't have anything going on. And even for others, knowing that everyone is going to be gathering on this island with all of their valuables. Let's steal some shit. So even though you may not necessarily be a party, you have arrived in town seeking somewhat of the same goal. And uh, if you notice, it's not a very big town. Also, weather keeps vision limited. If it's Suck really it, dark small vision. Town, then why not call it a village? Because I wanna. Why not call it a port town? Because it's too small for a port town. Port towns are usually really large. I think you're thinking of cities. No, this is pretty small for a town, though by the D&D &D definition of a town, at least. Maybe a big village. Is that a cat? There's actually something in between, but I don't remember. Is that a cat? Is this a cat? Are these cats? That's, those are calves. Those are... Yeah, those are, those are calves, not cats. Oh, cows? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're what we slaughter and turn into hamburger. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, that is very true. See, and this would actually be a Hamlet. Okay. A... Did you really just look up the word for that? Uh, it's actually even a different word than I thought. You were also thinking of the wrong word, though. You were definitely thinking of a city. Because large towns are not very large, which is sad. So, roughly, this is how we come to be each other. The rumbles roughly arriving at the same damn death. Yep. I mean, now it's up to you guys what you want to do. You know, there's people around, there's things going down. So, are we actually a party or like, are we just like here? You're just here right now. I mean, I guess I could party you up through this, through the basis of like, you've chartered a boat to the place. But currently, I figure I just leave you in town and watch you run around like chickens with your heads cut off. <laughs> Anyway, um, I know for a fact maybe my character is going to want to kind of observe for a bit. I'm going to I'm going to look around and see if there's anything that looks innately valuable. <laughs> um, I'm going to clock the area. This is being great. Starting off on here's here's the thing rogues gotta scout the place if you've never been a criminal who stole things you, 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 you just, there's no explaining it I'm pretty sure I also cho chose that as one of my my descriptions <laughs> of course yeah the first thing I do in a new place is note the locations of everything valuable or where such things could be hidden I do that hello Okay, so you're gonna case the joint. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna roll for that? Yes. Which. Investigation? Inception? Probably. I'd say investigation because you're looking for something specific. Once again, you're looking for specific things, etc. I mean, there's a boat. Don't have nothing good. There's a boat. <laughs> it's bigger than the other boats. Okay, do my character see anything? Uh, in specific, you just want a general layout of the town, or? Or does she knows any, uh, notice anything off that with the investigation? Like, a passive investigation. Uh, what's your passive investigation level? We gotta double check it here. Uh, I have your guys' stuff somewhere. There we go. Uh, passively? Mm. Uh, passively would be an F plus 8. Because I did take the observant feat. Oh, and that gives you your proficiency as a passive? Uh, it gives me a plus five to passive. Ah, yep, that'll do it. Because that would be plus that, then plus one. But I did do have proficiency in investigation. Thanks to, I picked that as Ranger. I mean, if you're taking just a passive investigation, that would be a 10 plus whatever your own That's the thing. She has effects that actually increase her passive investigation as a ranger and as other things. Well, passive investigation is just 10 plus int plus your whatever that other bonus would be. Right, which is plus 5 plus 2 or 3, which would be 8, right? Is a plus 3, because we started at level 7. Because she has proficiency as well. Mm -hmm. like, very interesting skill that I haven't seen in a while. But yeah, so with uh, plus eight investigation, I mean, you see that this is a small, you know, uh, basically kind of a fishing hamlet, for better lack of a word. You know, they fish, they have boats, they they receive people and visitors in the ports sometimes, and 
uh, you know, it, lo it looks pretty bare bones. Probably, you know, a couple hundred people live here, maximum. Oh, Axel, I did DM you. I would like to. Oh God, it's gonna be one of these campaigns. <laughs> no, it's just discussing of why I was brought out of isolation. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I mean, I guess it could have. I was driving you out of isolation with weather. Weather and harsh conditions. I want. If you want to get hit with some trees, feel free to go back. <laughs> oh, if that's the case, then, my, then after the weather passes, my character would have no reason to stick around. You're assuming this weather is passing. I said three weeks. <laughs> yep, I would put that in perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks uh, of storms that are lifting up trees and causing lands, lands. Sorry, rock slides, mud slides, avalanches. Axel, can I just say, I swear to God, this is, it, this involves our previous conversation involving giant frogs. What? I. I will literally throw a, uh, throw a rock at you, dear sir. Good luck. I know what oh, oh god. Are we, we're not gonna be fighting sloads, are we? No. You have no, no idea. No, no, no. I have an ideal, inkling of an ideal, but th please tell me it's not that. What? I would never do that. Axel, I swear to gosh, I can almost feel the we're shivery out of that. <laughs> oh, my bad. It wouldn't be called a slowed. That is the ESO term. Mm -hmm. They would technically be slods. <laughs> what the heck is a slod? I don't know, but I feel like it's an offensive term. Racist. Uh, they're outsiders that, re that resemble giant humanoid toads of various colors and other types, no. such as mud and death. No. N nah. No, it's a joke. It's, it's a joke. That it's gone a little out of hand if it if this actually does show up. I am... well... Go ahead. I'm just gonna sigh if that's the case. I'm just sighing because this is, this is madness. If it is that conversation, gonna bite me and me behind. <laughs> I walk to this guy who's with a mop and looks like he's uh, work. He works here. And I say, and I say, where's that boat going? Oh, why, hello, young missy. It's going to the changing aisles. Oh, God, have I gone deaf? Wait, can you not hear me? I actually can't hear you. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Sorry, okay, continue, continue. As I said, Mom is going to the changing aisles. The where? The changing aisles. What are those? Oh, is this island that changes. He moves around and changes. Moves around, huh? Yeah, legend has it that the island moves around. So you gotta track it down. It says that a giant storm follows the island. At least that's the legend there. Interesting. Right? Thank you. Yeah. And I, I walk. I sort of kind of start making my way very slowly towards it. To the boat? The boat. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone else do anything? I mean, these guys over here are looking at you real funny. Which one? They're just looking at me? I mean, you haven't really moved, so. Hmm. Then I just stand there and look like I'm just like observing the sea. And I see if they continue to look at me. I mean, pretty much. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't like that they're looking at me. Well, I mean, you, you said you were like going towards it, but, and then, but you haven't moved. So now they're just like, hmm. Um, uh, Axel, um, I mean, like given perception wise, but I've been able to hear that. Possibly. I mean, you have a pretty high passive perception, I believe, and no one rolled stealth, so I'd assume yeah. so. Yeah. Um, for the most part, my character is gonna go over this way and see about these guys. Already? In which she's like, um, excuse me. Sorry, just responding to something. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hello. Well, look, I am not a soprano, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know I just had to snort because I was just like. <laughs> So this, that's no, please, no. <laughs> but yeah. Hello! How are you, young one? Yeah, I'm a lady. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> as far as orc standards go. Uh, all right. Go. I don't really know what standards are. Oh, I'm guessing you don't get many half orcs around here. We don't! We don't. What's an orc? Is it uh, is it like a kelpie? No. What's a kelpie? Mm, you'd rather not know. I mean, I'm so curious. I'm a curious, curious individual. I like, uh, like to hear it. Well, it's it's like. A water spirit, but it shape shifts. It usually looks like a horse, like a water horse. But it could also be a human. Oh. That sounds interesting. Well, and the well, I think that they really. It's like. It's like, go ahead, go check up the I'm my behind it did. I think this way this is happening partially on the end, partially on my end. Um no work, no work, no work. Uh So what are you doing in town, young miss? Ah, uh, for the most part I like traveling, learning about the world. Oh. So um, yeah, that looks like. After your question earlier, it is think I'm very, I would say, very warrior like sort of, um, being. Yes, definitely. I mean, I think it's a great thing, but definitely are a little on the fearless, fearless spectrum. Oh! Yeah. So, like, the lizard folk. Okay. Oh. Okay. But they at least probably have a better sense of humor. So, generally speaking, they generally at least have some of the Wait. I'm double check the skills. Perspective. Sorry, one more time, Jewel. Um, more or less. What part did I cut out at? Uh, after, right before perspective. Um, oh, oh. 
but some people might find orcs humor to be slightly on the crude side rather than the humorous side of humorous side it depends on perspective though, gotcha. really. she says oh that's interesting yeah uh, Kelp. definitely is interesting definitely interesting on that kelpie note um uh, does anybody ask, um, have you heard about the storms, the storms that have been plaguing the, um, pla plaguing the, um, area, or at least nearby, as of late? I, well, from what I hear, there is a magical storm that surrounds an island. And that island is nearby for some reason, and it won't go away. Jerk. My crops are almost all dead. Oh, from overwatering. Yeah, also some of them got ripped out of the ground and flung 5,000 yards away. Oh, jeez, that is, sounds quite awful. Yeah, it was bad. It was a bad day. Hmm? How can they tell 5,000 yards? That's pretty far. I know. <laughs> I used to be good at the javelin. Oh, that is Fair. always good. Is Holy always shit, good. you're good at the javelin, able to throw a javelin 5,000 yards? Holy balls. Yeah, I wasn't too good at math, though. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely is interesting. <laughs> Um, just, is it just you, I'm guessing you live, you've been living here for a bit. Has anything like this happened before? No, but legend says every couple of hundred years, the storm rides in, and they won't fucking leave. At least until somebody rescues some other somebody off the island. Oh, jeez, okay. Do I notice Michael getting kind of close to me? I mean, I mean, I'm not exactly stealthing, and plus I'm a six foot four, two hundred thirty five pound dragonborn, walking on a wood dock. On on a pardon on a wood dock. How dare you walk on Donnie? <laughs> because I'm walking on Donnie. Quack. You're you're walking on sunshine. <laughs> okay. 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 And she's just like, well. I'm guessing since you're a long time resident, just you, you yourself? Just you yourself? Uh, just oh no, it's my daughter right here next to me. Oh, but she kind of looks over. Hello, miss! Hi! And she kind of waves to the lady, too. Uh, the, in this. She says, Are you a hero? I'm more of a traveling scholar, but. Maybe. Lame! How is that lame? Heroes are cool! But I can still- Well, it doesn't mean I can't fight. Can you fight? Yeah, absolutely. Cool! I'm, I mean, I was raised by a bunch of orcs. I don't think I know how to fight. What a orc! Because you orcs doesn't mean you are good at fighting. Okay, you're not in this conversation, dear sir. I also think you're probably too far away to hear it at this fucking... <laughs> you know, five or ten feet, maybe. Thirty or forty feet, maybe not. Alright, he's... Okay, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> he's, he's like, wait, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> he's like, well, put my dragon ears... <laughs> The only reason I heard how I hear <laughs> What do you hear with your dragon ear? The sound of the ocean. <laughs> Stop trying to make it work. You have 35 feet, bruh. <laughs> I, I yeah. could always use enhanced ability, owl's wisdom. Don't you freaking dare do it. I mean, you could, but it's after the fact. It's <laughs> I know. And you're going to listen in on a very okay, 
I just I just want him to like I just want it to be canon that he just says that randomly with no context where he's just like just because you were raised by orcs doesn't make you a good fighter what a weird thought to have in the middle of a storm in a town I've never been in for no reason <laughs> Do you want me to break it river point? Alright, and these two are just gonna come up like Can we pet your fur? <laughs> sure, can I hold out my arm? Okay. Damn it, I don't have my macros. Looks like a long suffering sigh. They did the best pet ever. I purr. <laughs> but I hate every minute of it. <laughs> like, I hate it, but internally, you know, naturally have to like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's to the G. Wait, how do I? Oh, okay. Then I can make it to the GM. I've never used the roller. <laughs> I always, I always make macros. <laughs> Alright, the other guy's gonna roll. Oh, he did not give a good pet. Subpar I like pet. A lot at him. He, uh, he, wait, let me see what he does. He understands. Okay. They're like, well, thank you. He's like, ha, I told you I was a better petta. <laughs> oh gosh, and we does um I was gonna just say, so, is there any local shops around here? Wait, well, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, well, the only thing I know of ever is the fish shop over there. Oh. I don't care if you're a better pet ever. So, there's no, like, um, um, parchment paper. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. I... Let me see. Yes, yes, that would be very much appreciated. And she kind of patiently waits, like, sits, to, or suddenly sits down on the dock. And she kind of waits patiently. While that is happening, I, I get a little closer to this group here, and I say, is there happen to be room on that boat? Uh, well, I, I mean, there is, I just, you know, it's usually for cargo and cannons and prisoners. And prisoners? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, when does it, when does it leave? Uh, this one? I thought I should, mm -hmm. should leave sometime soon, actually. We're getting ready to go right quickly. Headed off. We've been okay. we've been charged with the task, and we must complete it. Otherwise, we will never keep our hold over Ioma. Over what? Ioma. What is that? Ah, uh, is this 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 little town kind of thing? Hamlet. Yeah. It's actually just a ham. Ah, right, right. Did look a little small for a town, but it's a lovely little hamlet. The select. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's it's okay. pretty nice. I mean, we've we've enjoyed using it as a base for a couple years now. Awesome. I'm going to run to the store real quick. I will be right back. And I turn and I see this guy blocking my path, and I'm like, hello. Corrin just kind of gives a grunt, moves out of the way. Whoa, too far. <laughs> Stretches to four times his size. <laughs> and I walk, I walk around, I walk around where he moved out of the way, and I sort of kind of walk off to somewhere hidden-ish. Hiddenish. Would you like to like go over here and they're like this alleyway over here? Oh wait, I'm not using the right button. 
so you can't see which one I'm talking about. This one, you go into this little alley here. I'll, go, I'll duck into this little alley. All right. And then I'll strap you guys for a moment. So uh, when you duck into this little alley, you are encountered by just some random person hanging out in this alley. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Great. So I kind of like duck into the duck into the um, the alley, and I say, and I see this person standing there, and, and I kind of like am taken aback a little bit, and I say, "Hello." Well, hello. I kind of look around, like, make it look like I'm looking for something. What you looking for? You know, I I feel like I dropped my coin press over here. What are you doing in an alleyway, by the way? Oh, I'm just being, hanging out, being suspicious. You're being suspicious? Yeah, it's my hobby. You're succeeding. Thank you, thank you. You but my but my job is actually to be a, a, a rectory for the for the city hamlet whatever. I figured we weren't big enough to have one, but we have one. Hmm. Well. Okay, it just it doesn't look like my coin purse is here. I say, and I turn back around and I say, "You have a nice day." You and too. I duck into like a different, like, I duck behind a building just so that I could get a moment to scratch. This is like, why are there people even in the alleyways? It's like, why is there an alley person? <clears throat> uh, yes. Oh, sorry. More conversations. There we go. Oh, no. Click, 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 click. Axel is writing a book. I know, right? To be fair, this this book was written years ago. I just need someone to animate it and illustrate it. Hey, fair. What it's like, like I wrote a whole universe and it's trapped in two dimensions. It's actually trapped in, you know, text, but still. That's two dimensional. Did we ever find a solid place on where I landed on water? Nah, what was the D hundred rule? Uh twenty? Oh yeah, you're not good on water, yo. God damn it. Most likely meaning if you get on a boat, you're gonna get seasick. <laughs> Might just be afraid of the water, who knows? That'll be yeah, up to my D ten roll. <laughs> Well, yes, because if it were if it were not afraid of water, I could just jump in the water, climb up the side of the boat, and be done with it. But no, now I have to find a way to get onto the boat. Just on use the dock. just use your obscenely high stealth skills and walk right on. <laughs> it's not obscenely high. It's only a plus ten. 
cough. Only a plus ten. I could have had like Yeah, yeah, because I don't think my character is going to meddle. It depends on how stealthy they are. And <laughs> <laughs> beating a pass my pass. I mean, with a plus ten? I think I had a nine or better. Anything higher than the nine and I beat your passive. Okay. That's my is that's why I'm like I mean rogues rogues and bards are a very similar style of the game that they can really break the game if you let them. <laughs> yep. You wanna know like something funny? So Here's something funny. What? I can have a higher stealth bonus if I wanted to. I don't feel you. I could literally beat your bonus if I absolutely wanted to. I will destroy you. Oh boy. We're not doing this. I will destroy you. And what's even funnier is the fact that I'm not a rogue or a bard. What are you? You'll find out. Ooh, we just great. have to progress this story enough. Yep. Which means people have to do things. I mean, I'm trying to do things. So, uh, okay, Tilly was waiting for the lady to check if she, she has parking paper. And you can get that gun, the gun back to. I'm strategizing. Wow! This guy, this lizard man, is talking to these two folks, distracting them. Hmm. Can I my athletics? Oh God, Not me. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> I look forward and I, I stealth. I can do stealth. So I have to roll for that. Probably, yeah. Twelve. With your bonus? With my bonus, I rolled a two. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, stealthy I mean, at all. I mean, oh, yeah. you know I you're not that stealthy, though. I stumble, leaving the shadow of the house. Just the guy next know. over here is just like, you're right there? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta be careful, it's slippery. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You keep the deck so clean. Yeah. And I sort of so walk over clean and slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I walk over here with the new one spell. Oh wait, I didn't do that right. And I can't delete it! Man, why didn't they ask me if I wanted to be a helping hand? Well, you, you, you didn't ask. You didn't ask the right question. Oh, yep. I walked past my two fluids over here. Well, I about went in the water. Mm. And probably, so it's probably at this point just using the um, type of, of smoke and uh, monster to, while waiting. <laughs> chilling while waiting. This is chilling. Yeah, well, Any, anything in specific you want to use it to make or? Um, maybe any random little monsters. Maybe the Kelpie that the lady was talking about earlier. All right, sounds sounds good. The little girl's gonna watch. You just go, cool. I picked it up on my travel. Cool. Are there any little floating bit of wood, like a tiny, like a dwarf size bit of wood? <laughs> I guess do an investigation or perception. 
Alright, let's do investigation. I'm gonna investigate. No. I'm gonna perception. Because that makes sense. Uh, Alright, let's Um, there aren't any, uh, pieces of wood, but you do see some, like, rocks that are, like, just, like, hidden a bit by the waves sometimes, but are sometimes exposed. Hmm. DM question. Mm hmm Can I stealth jump? I don't see why not. I had to do it when I was a criminal. Okay, okay. Let me read my character <laughs> for just a sec. It's always when people are like, well... Um... It's lucky. <laughs> I think with my jump. Something about my jump happens with it being a tabaxi. Um, I can give you that answer. Do you want me to give you that answer? Yes, please. Alright, I'll go do it. Thank you, bud. Yeah, this is just great. <laughs> I like how my character probably is low-key just watching this shit just go on. And Doug saying a thing. <laughs> it's not even... No, not, not... None of her business. Um... But do I have... Do I, do I get to roll a new stealth track because I no longer am going the way I initially wanted to and I changed my course? Uh, technically, yes, but it's not necessarily because you changed course or anything. It's because you're doing a different attempt. So it technically uh, counts as, like, a different action. Feline uh, agility? Is it feline agility? Um, your reflexes and agility allows you to move with the burst of speed. When you move on your turn, uh, double your speed to the end. Double your speed, pretty much. For a bit. Yes, for that turn. How far can I jump? <sighs> I believe it has to do with your movement speed or, or your strength, actually. I think because we've talked about it in one of our other campaigns. Yeah. Um, let's see. A long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet immediately before the jump. What I is your... Yeah, but what is your... Um, strength. Um. Oh god, I clicked away. I'm sorry. Hold on. It is a. 11. So you probably would have the same running jump as me. Running long jump would be 11 feet that she has. A standing jump wise, you only probably have five. Five? And a, stand, a running high jump is three. A standing uh -huh. Second story work. When you choose this archetype at third level, you gain the ability to climb faster than normal. Oh. In addition, okay. when you make a running jump, the distance you cover increases by a number of feet equal to your dexterity modifier. So I get an additional fuck ton of feet. An additional four feet. Not That's a lot. lot. Not a lot, but it's still a little bit extra than me. Keep this in mind. You can probably jump farther than me. And can hear the what the hell is about to happen. Hmm. Ooh, barely. Okay, so can I reach one of the rocks in the water? Stealthily. I want to do a stealthy. I mean, theoretically, yeah. <laughs> Practically, that's all based on your roll. Okay. So here's my stealth roll. Although, yeah. <laughs> what? My stealth is 26. Well, I mean, it seems like you're stealthy enough. Okay. With a lot. That's what? What was the stealth roll? 26. Okay. Yeah. So my character doesn't seem just, just too out of it, or just paying to the uh, paying attention to the cloud of uh, the smoke figures. What do I have to roll to run and make sure I move the rock? 
typed up through the DM. Uh, so usually you would just do an athletic, a strength check for a jump to make sure that you land on your feet more than anything. That'd be strength? Uh, yep, athletics apparently. Wouldn't be Nope. Mm -mm. It's, I don't know why it's under that. It's just, that's, it's one of the crazy things. You have, you can, now when you land in difficult terrain, you have to succeed on a dexterity acrobatics feat. Well, it is the watery. It's all wet. Maybe it's a little slimy, so maybe it's difficult terrain. <laughs> oh, sorry. Strength also is based on distance. That's to make sure you get there. Oh. Right, dexterity is landing. Okay. Um, 12? I mean, that's your basic score, so I mean, that that fits the modus. That should technically get you where you gotta go, especially since you're only going half the distance to the rock. Okay. So now I'm like somewhere in the ocean, and I still have my 26 stealth. Yep, that's still in action, although now you're leaping from that rock onto the boat. Which, by the way, is more difficult coming off the rock. I feel like that might need to be done with disadvantage. <laughs> I mean, definitely didn't hear the bush. Yeah, watch me. Um, and at the disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I think it should be. You're you're going on this on a rock in the middle of the water, and you don't like water. Yeah. Okay. Is it? <laughs> If it's, if it's acrobatics, I got a 10. So that should be your landing, which is basic. So that's a basic landing. Nothing fancy. What was if your... That, the uh, that would be onto the rock, since that would be your landing to the rock. Turns out to not to be a rock is actually a giant crab. <laughs> Killer crabs in the ocean. Okay, so I want to jump onto the side of the boat. And use my claws. I mean, for the most part, you shouldn't have it too bad as it's a back thing. You should be all right, but... You want to use your claws, you accidentally break your claws. Ah. Ouch! And everyone <laughs> gets attacked by a shark. That's what happens if I roll a one. Killer I, I shark. Do, do, to, do, uh, do, do, do. I'm not trying to jinx your character. <laughs> so, what do I roll to land on the side of the boat? Uh, that would also be an acrobatics, but you needed to do the. Oh no, you already did the roll for the athletics to jump it. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's a regular straight roll, right? Uh, no, it should be dexterity or reflex. So. Yeah, dexterity. But it's not like Yeah. No, no disadvantage on this one. You're going onto a deck of a ship, not a rock the in the middle of. Oh, you're going on the side. Yeah, disadvantage yeah. probably. Damn it. Wet side of a ship. Um, that's an eight. And then you said you were using your claws? Yeah. So I'm you. Like, I'm climbing. I have a climbing. Like, I've, I can climb good. Uh, so you yeah, you try to grip it, you don't quite get it, and you start sliding down. Oh no, oh no. So oh, no. you might want to make a reflex save to see if you can catch on the side of the boat again. And if you don't, you're going to be one wet footy cat. Wet! <laughs> a moist, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Towelette. 
re dexterity, right? Quite loud? Yeah. 22. No. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm getting Jesus. So you uh, you caught onto the side. You're a little bit lower down now on the ship. You'll have to climb there your way up to the top. There are some little scrap marks on the boat now. Yep. It went. <laughs> I would also say that you need to re-roll to see if your stealth was broken. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I know this is like everything I do. Oh no! Why today? Why? So I got a total thirty. I'm invisible. Indeed, you 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 recover nicely. That you just hear. Did you hear that? No. Okay, me neither. <laughs> and you just see two chill two chill over there. <laughs> chill for a um, freaking half. Freaking orc just chilling. <laughs> just going from space. So, do I hear anyone on the deck of the boat? On the what know. of the boat? Yeah, no, you 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 do hear people on the deck of the boat. They're talking pretty loudly. Can I super stealthy peek up and see where would be a way down into the guts of the boat? Uh, so you're, wait, so you're trying to peek into, like, a, a porthole? I'm trying to, like, look up over the edge oh, of the boat. Oh, you still gotta climb up to the edge of the boat. Oh, shit. So I climb up to the edge of the boat. I shouldn't have any kind of hindrance to that, because I'm a tabaxi. I'll, I'll give that to you. You should be able to take a 10 on that. Um... But as far as the sneaking over, you're going to have to do the stealth sneak action and then a perception action to see what you see. Each so new each new yourself? each new stealth action requires a new stealth roll. So, for example, right, uh, you want a stealth to blend in at a party, right? That, that means you can go anywhere in the whole party and not draw attention to yourself because you're remaining stealth and just blending. But say you're in the party and now you want to pickpocket somebody that's going to require an additional stealth roll. Fine. Um, that is... Great, that's a 12. Uh, yeah, that's not super stealthy, but, you know. So I guess this means Will sees me just fucking peek over the side of the boat like I was standing over on the deck, but now I'm just like... Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what I roll. Well, fuck. <laughs> you fucking lucked out there. Like I said, you guys think that I just let you guys do dumb shit, and in a way I do, because I could just be like, nah, I'll just give them a flat ten, and and give them give them their random. But but I just I, I always I'm like, all right, well I'll roll it, because that's how it is in real life, right? I make them roll, then I should have to roll, and then I roll like ass always. <laughs> that's that's the only reason any of you are alive right now. All your characters would be super dead. And then you have Jules where your characters are just chilling and actively watching this and just like not even gonna get involved with that. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, she would have seen you as soon as your uh as soon as you got any stealth roll lower than her passive. So you 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 saw me, bud. <laughs> Well, having said that any time that you roll back above that afterwards you re-go into stealth well I just vanish they kind of yeah. depends also on if they're actively watching you and I do want to make sure I'm not like hogging the story or anything so. oh, no. no Michael's doing something on his own you're fine okay yeah, good and, uh, as you heard um, the character I'm playing is waiting for Carl. So she's just chilling at the side of the dog, just waiting while the lady gets her the parchment paper. Watching while this cat lady scales a boat. Yeah. Um, oh at this point, it's not good. It's, it's, it's like that. She's not capable. If she's not meddling in someone's business, if she wants to start to start the scale a boat, by all means, go and scale a boat. So, because I barely passed that stealth roll, my like my ears are just like flat back. 
and I'm just looking around to see if I can find a way down to the gut to the boat. Um. <laughs> okay, what's your roll? Roll to ten, and it's the perception. Yes. Or actually, um, probably investigation, because you're trying to look into the bowels of the boat. Fourteen. Uh, I mean, you can see as you look over the edge, there's probably three or four people on deck, uh, running around, doing stuff. They've got swords on their hips. Uh, the boat seems to be, you know, fairly large. It's definitely, you know, several layers to it. You got the top level, which has a mast and a room and a crow's nest, etc., etc. And then you have stairway going down to the uh, lower level, kind of near the front of the boat over here. Uh, but you, inf but you unfortunately can't see quite down into it just because of the angles. Okay. So I would like to stealthily jump up and go to that stairwell. So I think you know what I'm going to ask here. Stealth roll. There you go. 18? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I think you beat everyone's passive on the boat, so. I met Jewel. Uh, I don't think you beat her passive. Oh, no. But she is not good. Like, is she not... You just saw what her thing her thing was. She's not meddling in it. She's probably gonna watch how far this goes. But she... <laughs> so, so I make it to the top, like the the mouth of the stairs, and I sort of duck in, and then I sort of like act natural <laughs> and continue walking down the stairs. Do I have to do deception? To, sorry, what were you doing again? Just sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, once I get to the um, the stairwell, I'm gonna sort of duck into the stairway, uh -huh. and then just kind of like real quick, just kind of act natural, like I'm meant to be on this boat, <laughs> and continue down the stairs. Um, God damn it! Let me see. That's probably gonna be a little more than just deception, because deception usually <laughs> mostly. Oh <laughs> Fuck you! Like as long as they weren't talking about in other areas, you're fine. No, just kidding. Katie was laughing at me because I have to stand on the couch in order to be able to pull the fucking cord on the ceiling fan to turn the light on. Oh, that's because you're short. It's <laughs> alright, I'm short too, Michael. I'm so, I feel you sorry, short motherfucker. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's, it's okay I'm though. Short the ceilings. <laughs> no, it's not. It's probably the standard fucking seven or eight fucking ceiling. I know. Actually, right? no. I think it's. I think. Oh, how how high up do you think her ceiling is? You think it's about ten foot? I think it's about a ten foot ceiling. It might be. Some some are. It's actually doors that are seven feet tall. Yeah. So it's probably the ten. It's generally. Yeah. Ten most feet. most rooms are generally ten feet in height, uh, unless you live in a really short home. The other thing no, is you. No, because the doors are usually about seven foot tall, and there's about yes. two to three foot between the top of that door there to the yes. ceiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which that's is what that's I just that's said. That's <laughs> you do have quite a fucking arm span. Having said that, your uh, cord on your light thing might be short. Depends yeah. on who installed it. Short. You wait, you're kind of short. I knew it, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you're gonna need to do deception and performance. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, because oh, uh, pretending to be somebody else or acting like you're there—that's absolutely a performance check. Um. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Deception. Uh... 18. Performance. I'm not gonna use that dice. I'll use this dice. Nat 20. For a total of 23. Well, the performance is a nat 20, you said? Yes, 23? So that's yes. pretty much gone. What was the deception again? Uh... 18. 
Okay. I mean, you seem like you're uh, you're doing good. Let's hope nobody on the enemy thing gets the thing. I think I want to make these ones secret this time. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh good. Nope. I think the only one that would want to be able to contest that is probably with me. It's probably me with the assassin. <laughs> Well, you saw me go into the boat. You didn't see yeah. me go into the boat. I know. But if you get on the boat and she ends up running into you, that's gonna be the most hilarious joke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this adventure is meant to put it all together and it's just great. That biker is gonna see it and it's just like, you know, I would say it what I saw earlier. But you know what? No, nope, I gotta get show out of it. I gotta, gotta show out to watch. Way. I mean that as my like, character speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh god, this is just great. You're like, hey, hey, I'm a pretty kitty, it's okay! Yeah. I'm making you little dice towers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so Axel, does this lady ever come back with the apartment here, or is she just looking like the lady with the the lady is just like <laughs> holding something, but it is not parchment paper. <laughs> it looks like a frog. <laughs> In which this character is just looking at it and he's just like, um, ma'am, this is a frog. This is a frog, but not a, um, person. You are having way too much fun with that. Yeah. She's like, this is my only paper frog skin's the new fashion. I... It's the new fad. What um, does that mean? <laughs> also, why is oh, the no, boat no. talking? <laughs> uh, I'm not looking for... And you just hear her say, I'm not looking for fashion. I'm looking for, um... Paper. You, you see what paper looks like, right? It was pretty bad yesterday. He's struggling to say more or less. This is paper. You understand what paper looks like, man. Boom. You're just getting met with silence. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Just lots of typing. Yes, I can tell. I can hear. <laughs> Who are you even typing to? My dick! Fair! We already gotta know who it is. It's probably our very own person. Yeah, it was probably one of our people, yeah. I, I would agree with that. It was actually Donnie. <laughs> I write Donnie letters when we're not doing anything to keep him apprised of your guys' adventures. Yeah. I bet he's enjoying them. I bet he must find them a quacking time. He's definitely uh, quacking up. I, I just hope he doesn't honk at us. I'm sorry, that was a bad geese joke. But then again, that was for the birds. But yeah, uh, so it is. So it is. <laughs> So this lady comes back with that frog, and she's just like, no, no, I, I didn't need a frog, man. I need a, um, piece of paper. Sheet of paper. She's like, what's a piece of paper? Or, you don't, you have you never heard of parchment paper? Well, I don't even know what parchment is. Oh. Um, it looks like, and she kind of takes out this leather-bound journal. Oh, you mean Whiteus? 
The righty whitey stuff. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we don't got none of that. Uh, We're fishing people. I write on fish. She's like, I think that frog will do you good. Okay. Wink. Okay, then I will kindly take it. Yeah. yeah and then the little girl's like, kill. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of like spills her uh, the, uh, the pipe from earlier and just had a couple of hands to like take this frog. <laughs> And she doesn't know what to say. Other than okay, is she taking me to the place? You're not gonna pay for it? Mm -hmm. The lady didn't say anything about payments for this frog or the parachute paper. No, oh, it's fine. This frog is everywhere. Literally, yeah. hold your hand out and they hop out. And she holds her hand out. But nothing happens. Well, sometimes you gotta give it a second. Like I said, um, the character kind of takes it. Take the, um, frog and just kind of holds on to it. Oh, okay, I'm going to kind of take the frog. Is there anything else? And you gotta listen to both of them, like, you guys are like, hospital. She's holding this frog. Hospital. And thank you for the frog. Yeah! I love it. This is just great. <laughs> they just look at you and smile. And she just kind of holds up to this frog for a second. She does what I know. 